We had actually seen Julia in an episode of Cheers that um, we thought, actually I knew Julia had been up for the role of Diane in Cheers, and, uh, and we had seen an episode that she had done on Cheers that we thought was just really special. And we, um, even though not a character like this at all, and, uh, and so we brought her in and she just, you know, just flat out nailed it. And tell us a little bit about working with Julia. Oh, Julia was great. She, uh, remember her early on, uh, we had done an episode or two and she'd had obviously a lot to do and it scored great. And then the first week that she didn't have a lot to do and she's kind of moping. And so I went up to her and I said, are you okay? And she goes, yeah. She says, you just have to understand that she says, you know, in weeks that I don't have much to do, I'm not going to be very happy. And I go, well, and you have to understand that the title of the show is New Heart, so that's going to be about 16 weeks a year. You're not going to be very happy. Um, and she said, no, no, I get it, I get it. And yeah, after that, it was fun. She, well, I never had a problem with Julia. She, uh, and she would. She would. She would be more quiet on the weeks that she didn't have a lot to do, and she would blossom on the weeks that she did have a lot to do. But she was so good, we obviously gave her a lot to do. And talk about why you made those casting changes that, that season um, when you brought in Julia and Peter Scolari. <clears throat> um, we, had, we had gotten a lot of resistance from the network um, on, the, on the Kirk Devane character. Um, they had not, not so much the character, but they, they just, for whatever reasons, they didn't, they weren't responding to Stephen um, as an actor. and. Um, At the end of the, and I just fought it off for the entire year. And at the end of the year, I was beginning to have trouble with it. And so I said, you know, this is, um, it just, you know, it was becoming, frankly, it was a little divisive. Um, who knows why? I mean, maybe people, they hear things, they start feeling like, you know, they're, they don't have the full support and they, it becomes problematic and, um, I just made the decision at the end of the year that it was it was better for the show if, uh, and better for him if we didn't carry this on because it was only going to get worse. It wasn't going to get better. In the case of in the case of uh, bringing on Julia, we brought Julia on as a guest star, and she had scored so well that we knew that we had to make the change. And we were having trouble with the uh, with the with the maid character. It had nothing to do with Jennifer Holmes. It just had to do with the fact that that character was like in, had, she served a great purpose in the pilot for setting up Bob. But beyond that, we hadn't really done, a, or I hadn't done a very good job of creating that character. And, um, and when we hit upon Stephanie, she was just, like I said, funnier character. So we just, again, we just made the, we made the decision. We brought in two new characters, Peter Scolari, the same thing. He had done a guest shot. And, uh, they, they just sparkled. And uh, I guess it, this would go back to the taxi thing of, it isn't that it doesn't work, but if it can work better, you, you make the change. And taxi worked in the first year and they still made the change with Randall and brought in Reverend Jim and got better, so. And how did this change affect the tone of the show? Um, it, well, two things affected it. One, we, the, we suddenly had two new characters for Bob to play off of that were um, much more out there um, and, and for him much more perplexing. So he, he got funnier. Um, you know, these were high energy characters. Um, you know, we had, we, the town itself was a little laconic and Bob's a little laid back and George is a little laid back. So by bringing in both Stephanie and Michael had city energy and they shouldn't have been there. So they automatically gave it an energy that it didn't have before. You know, it, it, it ran the risk at the end of the first year of falling into too laconic a show. And, uh, and I know people, a lot of people love that rhythm and I did too, but um, it, it's nice to have some contrast in it too. And, and uh, uh, you know, I look back at like something like the old Andy Griffith show, which certainly had that wonderful laid back feeling and yet you had Barney who was just constantly, you know, even even have his slow moments, but a lot of times he would be manic and and you realize that it's show needed that. And we didn't really have that. Kirk Devane was supposed to do that, but it didn't really do it the way we intended to. So those two characters made the show much, much richer.